Welcome heroes, legends, and warriors of Sanctuary. My name is Omni Flash, and I am your guide to Diablo Immortal. Today, I will be showing you the insane damage, almost unkillable, long-range sniper necromancer build for PvP in Diablo Immortal. This build is designed to work with any resonance, but today, I will be showcasing it at 5,050 resonance. We're going to be taking on players that are even stronger than me. At the end of this video, after we get the victory page, I'll show you like who else I'm fighting. We're going to fight players that have almost 7,000 resonance. And we will be able to take them down. Alright, first things first. Let's break down the build. Our key ability here is Corpse Lance, which we've tweaked to have a longer range than most Necros in the current meta. This allows us to snipe enemies from a distance while keeping us safe and while dealing sustained heavy damage. To maximize our damage and survivability, we utilize multiple forms of cheat death. This means enemies will have to kill you many, many, many times before you actually go down. This is a huge advantage in any PvP situation, making you, you're not truly tanky. It's just that they have to kill you many times, and each time you waste all their skills and you waste all their DPS. We will be in this build, staying at maximum range, and spraying corpse lances at enemies. We're going to be doing it at maximum range, so that they will not be able to return fire. We will have to force them to abandon their objectives, like the idol, so that they can chase us. And when they do chase us, hopefully, we'll be able to pick them off uh, and survive. All right, so for example, we will be using Borrowed Time. Borrowed Time is one form of cheat death. We will also be using the Gladiator Paragon. Gladiator Paragon will also have cheat death. At the end of this video, well, after, well, actually like, Halfway through this video, after the battleground, I will show you all the all the gear, the paragon that I use, all the set items, all of the reforges, everything. All right, let's take a look at the battlefield right now. You want to use the dark curse. The dark curse will be activated all the time, as long as you can so that you will have plenty of corpses. The more corpses you have, the more damage you will have, meaning you will have more lances to shoot at your enemies. So right now, I am pretty much standing right here. I am dealing damage to uh, They are, on this side they have a Necro called Lactos and e East Blazing's the Barb and also they have Hollywood who is their Freeze Wizard. And I want to sneak up on them and I did. Hollywood is dead. Uh, Lactos is right here is also dead and now their Barb for some reason is chasing somebody and I, I assume the barb does not use their map because they aren't using their map they don't know that I have actually gotten on the idol and I was pushing it I did get out of the way uh, when the satyr ran, ran over 
and I was able to sneak up on East Blazing once again. He probably wasn't using the map, and I uh, sniped him while he was healing. Baby Sun is going to take me down. Uh, well, I mean, this I just ran out of cheat deaths. It is, it is what it is. This is almost, almost unkillable. However, um, my borrow time is almost back up, and I have about 35 more seconds before my cat savior is back up. Oh, 30 seconds before cat savior is back up. All right, I'm gonna stand here. All right, so I'm standing here. Uh, most people won't even be able to see me. As you can tell, I am shooting people from off screen. They don't see me because I can't see them either, to be honest. They they have to come and look for me. And I, I'm just standing here. This is at maximum range, so those uh, those barbarians, their chains cannot reach me at maximum range. You do have to watch out for DHs. You want to try to bait out their strafes. Strafe gives them about five to six seconds of just ridiculously high damage. And you want to wraith form uh, so that they can't hit you. During wraith form, you are vert, uh, pretty much invincible. So that is, that is super important. Also, Tempest, when the Tempest, when the enemy Tempest is in the cloud or when they kind of turn invisible in a cloud, you can't target them. So, no need to be anywhere close to them while they have the wraith form, when they have their wind walk, I mean. Wait about three seconds until that wind walk goes away. Then you can shoot them with your corpse lances. All right, let's take a look. All right, MVP, not bad, not bad. Baby Sun is their MVP with 14 kills. So let's take a look at Baby Sun. Baby Sun does have 6,753 residents. And uh, almost 6,000 armor penetration. Let's take a look at Gucci Lord really fast. And he has 6,000 residents, their barbarian. Okay, let's talk about the build. I am 5,050 resonance. The legendary gems, the five stars that I use, Seeping Bile, Bottled Hope, Blood Soaked Jade, uh, Rolling Consequence. It's, it's a weird name. Uh, you can also use Starfire if you have it. Two stars I use, Mother's Lament, Pain Clasp. Also use Bloody Reach. You can also use Viper's Bite. Viper's Bite is a very good two-star, which could uh, replace Seeping Bile, for example. Or if you want, you can have Seeping Bile and Viper's Bite. All of these dots, plus Rolling uh, Consequences dot, will give you more crit from the Banquet. Four-set Banquet. Actually, in this set, we use a six-set of Banquet. The hat that we just looked at was uh, Studied Menace. That's the legendary hat you need. Studied Menace, legendary hat. That also gives you another continual damage, another damage over time. That would also increase the crit that you have. Non elude would be the chest piece, the legendary chest piece that you want. And that also gives you even more crit. So. The pants that you will want to be using is Fulsome Feeding. Fulsome Feeding is the number one PvP pants for Necromancers. It creates a dark curse, a big circle around you that does damage. So you do some melee range damage now. Plus it spits out three times more corpses than any other skill that Necros have. The more corpses you have, the more damage you have. So if you have three times the corpses, you have three times the corpse lances, and you'll be able to deal three times more damage. Linger Mantle will make it so that your Dark Curse is up all the time. 
Linger Mantle makes your dark curse have a 39% longer duration. And that's that's insane. And absolutely necessary. So that you will have corpses all over the ground. Next, the first main hand you need is a stroke of midnight. This will make it so that the cooldown of your wraith form is up when you need it to help you escape whenever uh, you are pinned down. Revenant Wind will allow you to have a little bit of damage. Every time you go into Wraith form, it shoots out three little ghosts that deal damage. But what, what also procs is it'll proc your Seeping Ball, it'll proc your Rolling Consequence, it'll proc all of, all of your dots, uh, your Vibrous Bite. So that will deal a lot of damage as well. The two offense that you want will be Baleful Trinity. Baleful Trinity plus uh, the other offhand, I think it's Spite, uh, Spite Fetter or something. What it does, both of these offhands will make your Soul Fire deal more damage. Now, in this build, you are kind of squishy. So you may not use Soul Fire all that much unless your enemy is also squishy. So definitely don't... Uh, primary attack like a barbarian so well, let's go back to set items set items once again you want six set of banquet of eyes that's super important every 40 seconds you will have a rage banquet of eyes rage and that just blows your enemies up so every 40 seconds for about 12 seconds you will just blow your enemies up with an insane damage boost every 40 seconds you will also want two set of B Feasting Barons set. So you want two set of Feasting Barons, which will also make your damage over time last 30% longer. Now I don't have, I'm not using it. I'm just using a two set of Mountain Banks because I don't have a two set of Feasting Barons. But if you did, that would be the best. Six Bank of Eyes and two Feasting Barons. I do recommend your curse set to be atrophied. I believe atrophied will be the best. I I have nettled, I just haven't changed it. But atrophied should be better. As for my reforge, I do have my reforge is jolt. I do have jolt reforge. So I'd recommend you get jolt reforge. This way, if enemies attack you. They will be immobilized, and you get to run away and uh, shoot more corpse lances at them. Uh, here is the exact ones. Attack speed 2%, beneficial duration up to 3%, damage taken while suffering loss of control up to 5%. Damage taken from players? I think that's up to 1%. Continual damage taken reduced by up to 6%. Now, my reforges aren't perfect, but they're good enough. Finally, you do get a lot of damage and survivability from the Paragon, which is Gladiator. First and foremost, you want Cheat Death. Cheat Death is another, another way to survive and keep your stacks of damage. First Aid will also heal you every 300 seconds when you go low, so that will also make you survive a little bit longer. Uh, the next skill you want is Grizzled Veteran. Grizzled Veteran will just straight up make you 4% more damage, 4% tankier. Overpower. Overpower's got to be my favorite skill. Every time you kill somebody, you get more crit chance, stacking up to 15% after you've killed 5 people. Last but not least is Champion. Now, uh, no, it's not. It's called Juggernaut. All right. Last but not least, it's Juggernaut. And when you kill your sixth person, you get healed. All right. So all of a sudden, you're almost dead. Then you just get healed straight up. And also, you get 20% faster and 10% bigger. And 10% bigger means you are faster. Uh, in this game, the bigger you are, the faster you are. So you're about 25% faster. So it's super powerful, super strong. And that's about it. This is the, this is the best PvP build for Necros. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask below. 
Uh, I really appreciate you watching. Comment below, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.